What is up you guys, coming back at you with uh, a super dope pickup, something that I'm really, really stoked on. Um, and it really needs no introduction. You guys see the title of the video, you see what's on the box. Um, you've probably seen the thumbnail already. The hype is so, so real. These are the Bottega Veneta uh, Chelsea boots. And before I actually show you the boots and everything, which by the way, if you're following me on Instagram, uh, you should have already seen me rocking them. Um, I am just unbelievably stoked on them. I just want to show you guys what you get in the box. So it's a big gray box. It's, it's pretty big actually, I'm holding my phone really, real high up. But what you get inside is just a couple of Bottega Veneta um, dust bags, one for each shoe. I like to use these for like my smaller shoes also, just pro tip. Uh, and a bunch of tissue paper inside. It's a really, really awesome presentation overall. Um, so big ups to, to Bottega for um, putting the thought into that. Enough of that boxes are boring let's get into the shoes and here they are these are the Chelsea boots from the older collection this is from 2014 not the latest drop from a couple months ago um, these are the shadow gray reversible Buffalo suede something or other these are the great Kanye boots that um, everyone was super hyped about and still are kind of hyped about just because I think that this is a very, very unique shoe, um, other than the, the brand name, I guess, and other than the Kanye hype. Um, there's a lot of really distinguishing factors in these that I wanna uh, share with you guys. Uh, then I'll talk about sizing and my thoughts on the boots and the brand and everything. So let's get right into it. Um, first thing, I really wanna show you guys the texture on these boots, it's insane. Buffalo suede is a lot nappier and grainier I really hope the iPhone is, yeah, there you go. It's a lot grainier than calf suede, which is what most suede boots are made out of. Um, so as a result, focus, as a result, um, you are gonna get just a far more unique boot just because it looks a lot more rugged. And I bought this used by the way, so you, you know, the sole isn't quite clean. It's quite dirty on the bottom actually, but um, the, the nappiness of the buffalo hair really adds to the character of, you know, the grungy character of the boot. Um, and it really brings out kind of like a raw street look rather than 100% uh, like classy, like a normal Chelsea boot would. That being said, you can really easily dress this up or dress this down. Um, but yeah, that is, that's like one of the coolest features for me, this insane Buffalo texture. And on the inside, um, the leather is still just top notch. You can see the grain on that. Um, it is extraordinarily comfortable in there. Um, let's see, can I, can I do a thing? It says Bottega Veneta in there, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. Um, another really cool thing is um, this little stitch right here. All Bottega boots have this stitch that goes like this. This is their little detail. I don't know if it actually does anything for like the shape of the boot or how it creases or something, but um, I think it's a really cool little minimal feature. Um, another thing which I really, really like is the tonal elastic. Um, this seems kind of um, mundane, I guess, but um, you'd be surprised how many boots don't adequately match the elastic with the material. It's really easy when it's black and it's leather, but with suede, um, you know, like I'm pretty fortunate with my um, tan uh, Common Projects Chelsea boots that I made a video on a couple months ago. Those are pretty tonal and I really like that. It doesn't hurt my OCD. The gray Common Projects Chelsea boots have a nice gray suede, but the elastic is black and I don't like that. Um, these, on the other hand, are beautiful and gray throughout. And the gray itself is just gorgeous. It doesn't have that like purpley hue that um, the Common Projects gave off. Another thing that I really like is the crepe sole. I mentioned in my Common Projects video, sorry, I'm. I'm so excited to finally show these off. I'm kind of like slurring my words, but uh, in my common projects video, I mentioned that I wish the sole was a little bit thinner and I expressed an interest in cutting it down. And then a commenter um, said that it would wear down naturally. This is kind of the look that I was hoping for, you know, just like a very slim silhouette right here, very low to the ground, all the while still having that heel. Um, so, you know, I'm a, I was a really big fan of that. Um, so yeah. Overall, um, this is an incredibly hyped up boot and for very good reason. This is perhaps, um, it should be at least, 
the archetype of what a Chelsea boot should be in terms of height, in terms of leg opening, in terms of um, just design. Um, one thing, for example, is the toe box. It's not as pointed as the Common Projects one. It's a little bit more of a round almond toe. Yet at the same time, the distance, there's like the little bit of a platform right here where the stitching is. It's not like it, it doesn't have the big snowshoe effect um, that some Chelsea boots have. It's, it's very, very sleek um, despite having the round toe and it's just all around incredible, just incredible details put into this. Um, so without a doubt, uh, Bottega has experienced a lot of hype in the last year and a half um, because of the Kanye stimulus and recently they put out uh, four new colorways of this similar boot. Uh, they use a different kind of suede so you're not going to get that dope texture anymore. You're going to be getting a regular calf suede um, and they come in green, black, brown and camel for simplicity. Um, and what I can tell you guys is I've tried on the camel color and I've tried on the espresso color um, and they all fit similar so it's not like there's a sizing discrepancy between the years. However, that being said, definitely go down at least one size. You, you could be safe with going down a size and a half even. Um, these are a size 44 uh, which should equate to a, a size 11. Uh, in Common Projects, I get a size 45. In Vans and Adidas, I'm a size 12. And in Saint Laurent, I'm a 45 and a half. So, you know, make of that as you will. Um, I definitely size down on these and they still fit me insanely perfect. There's, there's some room uh, for my feet to move, uh, for me to stay comfortable. All the while, they do, uh, they're not as clunky or as big looking um, as um, if I had stayed true to size. Availability is another big question that's on everybody's mind. Obviously, there's a lot of resellers out there that are trying to make a couple hundred bucks um, because they buy a bunch and then just you know sell them for twelve hundred a pop. Um, if resell is your kind of thing uh, and you, you can afford paying it, go for it. To be honest, I don't really care. Uh, the quality on these is insane, uh, far superior in my opinion to the Common Projects ones, uh, just because they're a lot more comfortable. Maybe because they're broken in more. Um, but that being said, retail on these is 820, or at least they were on this latest drop. Um, so after tax, they're about $900. Um, and I've been to several Bottega boutiques. That's funny, Bottega boutiques. Um, and they said that they're going to be having another drop later this year, and they're going to have a navy color, they're going to have brown, and they're going to have a new color called toffee, which no one really knows what it is. Um, I was shown an image that it would be like a light gray, um, but as of yesterday, my information says that that is not the color and toffee is actually more of like a medium brown color. So, um, you know, we'll make of that as the shoes actually come out. But if you're looking for a gray boot, this is probably still the king in my opinion. Um, nothing comes close to just the absolute like beauty that is uh, the Bottega Veneta um, Buffalo Suede Shadow Gray Chelsea boot. So that being said, uh, I hope you guys are as stoked about these as I am. Um, I could, you know, twirl these around forever and show you every angle of them just because I never thought I would own one of these um, just because of the insane read sale that they were getting. And I missed out on these when they were on store shelves uh, just because as you guys know, I got into Chelsea boots uh, earlier this year. Um, you know, that being said, um, I really hope that you guys share this video, post it around Reddit, all the forums. Um, I noticed that there is no video on Bottega boots, uh, on YouTube, especially when it comes to sizing. So, um, I hope that, you know, this is of use to some of you guys that are prospective buyers. Um, and I'm approaching a thousand subscribers very, very soon, which is super sick. Uh, I've been making videos for about a year now and a thousand subscribers is a super dope milestone. I have a really awesome video and a giveaway coming up when I reach a thousand subscribers. So, uh, like my shit, share my shit. See you soon. Happy summer. Peace you guys.